Hey there, speedsters. You ever feel the need, the need for speed? Well, that's exactly what we have here at the National Museum of Transportation. Not only are we gonna see some trains, we're gonna ride some trains. <laughs> Nothing like feeling the wind in your hair as you speed around the tracks and see the marvelous sights. And along the way, even see if you can help Oni find some of his prized bones he seems to have lost around the museum. Can you spot Oni's bone? Good job! <laughs> Train whistles are my favorite type of whistles, but did you know different whistle blows mean different things? Let's go ahead and learn about it, speedsters. So listen up. And yes, that means chew, chew, and chew. One whistle means stop. Two means go. And three means back up. When approaching a crossing gate, it's a little different. I know what you must be thinking. It doesn't get much better than this, but wait. There's more! You can even ride the streetcar! These style streetcars were used for well over 50 years in the 18 and 1900s. Back in the day, not every speedster had a vehicle of their own. They used streetcars just like this to get around town. In fact, not everybody had a school bus back then, so they used these to get to school. Once people started getting personal vehicles and bus services started up, these streetcars gradually disappeared across the United States. That's why you come to the National Museum of Transportation and take a ride for yourself. Thanks again, Speedsters, for joining me on another adventure here at the National Museum of Transportation. Not only can you see a bunch of transportation vehicles, you can also ride a couple yourself. This is Speedy McWheels. Wheeling out.